Hello and welcome to Stardew Valley. Sebastian, good morning. Philip, good morning. Ah, June, good morning. Thank you. Wow. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, would you like a coffee bean? Magnus, good morning. Okay, that's good to know for Zen. Certain plants can grow in the darkness of the un underworld. Um, let's pick that up and then watch some TV. Tomorrow's weather will be sunny on Ginger Island as well. And today's luck is somewhat not good. Living off the land talks to us about the worm bin. We've had several for quite a while. No birthdays today, just the night market. Sophia's still in bed. I guess we'll give her a fairy rose tomorrow then. We can still give her one more gift this week and uh, as we do need to raise our heart level with her. Yeah, we'll seek her out tomorrow and give her a fairy rose. A uh, shrimp. Red mullet. Alright, that's that. Put them away. Oops, here and and also sashimi, that two and uh, I guess these two go into sashimi and maybe also the freshwater shrimp. Um, that into there and let's actually make some sashimi. I'm using up a lot of these kind of small fish. I mean, maybe I haven't put all of these into the aquarium yet so maybe I should leave like one in there um not that I'm really going for like a completion with the aquarium no way with the more fish mod and everything, we have so many fish in the game. There's no way I'm going to donate one of each. But, um, you know, as we have the fish there, it's a simple thing to just leave one in the chest. And then whenever we do go to the aquarium, we should go there one of these days. We can then check 
if we've donated one of each. And if we haven't, then we can donate the ones that we haven't yet donated. I wonder what the kind of upper limit is on uh, on like um, how much merchandise there can be because they did say that as we donate more and more fish there will be more and more merchandise sold at the shop you know the shop outside the aquarium so i'm thinking is it like um is it some kind of a like a fixed number of fish that we need to donate in order to to see the shops full stock like everything that there can be at the shop or is it a percentage of all the fish in the game I wonder which one it is, because it totally could be a percentage of all the fish in the game as well, couldn't it? And then as you go kind of above the thresholds that they've set, be it the number of unique fish in the aquarium or the percentage of all unique fish in the game, donated oh jasper shall be home within the next few days house arrest <laughs> yeah gunther is probably going to make sure that you're not going to go anywhere anytime soon um yeah Ah, well, in the next few days, and does it mean tomorrow, or the day after, or the day after that? I guess we'll have to check every day and see which day it is that he is home, because I would very much like to see him and uh, see how he's recovering and and maybe talk to him about this um, peace body letter that we got. So yeah, I wonder um, if it is like just uh, a certain number of fish or a percentage of all the fish in the game with the aquarium mod and that um that then increases the uh, number of different items sold at the shop if it's a percentage of all fish in the game um then i i'm probably never going to get the shop to its full stock because uh, as I said with the more fish mod we have a lot of different fish in the game and uh, I'm not all that keen on catching one of each but if it is just a set number of fish not a percentage of all fish in the game, then I think there's a chance that we may actually get to the uh, get the aquarium shop to its full stock at some point. Good morning, Snowdrop. Uh, right. So we need to go get our pickaxe. And then we need to go to Ginger Island. And um, once we've seen the event with uh, Magnus there, 
we'll come back and uh, go see about Five Old Shop. Hello, Claire. Good morning. Um, would you like to move in with me and uh, quite a few other people? You'd be very welcome. Alright then, it'll soon be 9am and we'll get to go get our pickaxe. Here we go. I think I'm going to leave the axe here to be upgraded next. Just put that in there and... We'll have the axe back in a couple of days. I don't think we'll necessarily need it in that time. Yeah, I want to upgrade the tools to Iridium because... Oh, hello. I'll have to remember to check the quest board. Once I come back from the island. Yeah, I want to upgrade. Oh, you're here already. Can I already buy this? I don't have that painting yet. No, in the evening. Okay then. Um... I don't see any, like, crate with a question mark here for us to drop the, uh, the fish into, or, you know, the old pappy's secret or whatever it was called. I wonder if we do need to give them to Willy as gifts. But then... Hmm... If they were quest-related gifts, you know, uh, then it wouldn't count towards the daily limit. The quest does say to give them to Willy. It doesn't say to leave them in a crate or anything. It says to give them to Willy. Hmm. Hi, I'm here. All right. Local customs, courting rituals. A blue feather. You were envious that I beat you to it. Ah. A plan to present me with something equally special. So what do you have in mind? Take a little trip. And the journey is part of the gift too. Intriguing. Bubbles. Underwater. ready. Very dark. Oh, here we go. Pretty. Pretty. 
so pretty. I love it. Our own underwater adventure. I'm okay. You're doing some magic? Is it our own private mermaid show? It is, isn't it? With the, you know, the shells and the mermaid and everything. Oh wow, mermaid's bracelet, seemed like it has a prismatic shard on it. Or in it. <laughs> I'm going to pop my bubble at this rate. was very nice. I loved it. Aww. So, according to the wiki, there's also a part 2 to this event that comes sometime after seeing part 1. And I think they've got the times of those two events kind of mixed up a little because um, it said that this part 1 was like um, a nighttime event, 6pm to 2am. And then that part two was like a midday event. But um, clearly it's part one that was the midday or late morning event. And then part two is going to be the evening or nighttime event. Hello? Let's get that ginger. I want to head back. What do you want now? Five. Deliver mail. Oh, I don't need mail, de mail delivery here. Not necessarily. At least not at the moment. 
It will be handy if I intend to stay on Ginger Island for a while. But, um, mostly I'm just visiting for a little bit and then going straight back to Pelican Town. Market isn't quite open yet. Let's go see Fival in his shop. See what he's got there and see about this too. Fairy garden or a thousand pieces of wood? We could get a thousand pieces of wood super easily from deep woods. Um... The fairy garden is intriguing though, and it's for Sophia. So, let's go with that maybe? We've got 14 days. 50 fairy seeds. Might be a bit too much. 5 fairy stones and uh, 10 fairy dust. We do have the recipe for fairy dust, don't we? And then I think we can buy fairy stones. At the Junimo village. I'll have to see. Maybe it is possible for us to do that. Ah. Would you like a void mayo? Hmm. Emperor, a grape for you. We've got a few fairy roses growing. Um, fifty fairy seeds, though. If, on average, we get two seeds per rows that we put into the seed maker then we'll need 25 fairy roses um i think there's a person who sells seeds at the night market as well so that's kind of a very fortunate timing for that quest to appear because um i think tonight they'll be selling spring seeds and then tomorrow summer seeds and the day after that autumn seeds and uh, fairy rose is an autumn thing so the night after tomorrow at the night market we'll probably be able to buy fairy rose seeds is there a limit to how many they've got in stock though hmm tea set that's nice Golden pumpkin, that's nice too. Fival's hat. <laughs> we already have the one that we got in the friendship event. I would like to buy the tea set and the golden pumpkin though, because uh, Lance loves golden pumpkins. And obviously, we want to befriend him. So, um, and the tea set is just going to be a nice thing, nice thing to have on a table. Oh, there's an unlimited quantity of those, is there? Well then, I'm going to buy a few more golden pumpkins to give to lands. Just 
just a few more. We can give two per week, so... Um, and we already have some. Let's see. Uh, we'll get going to the night market. It'll take us a little while to get to the beach from here. Ah. Where's the, uh, the bush that takes us to, to Sen's place? I can never remember which bush it is. Oliver? Would you like a rabbit's foot? Is Josephine around? I don't see her here. Rosa? <sighs> Ooh, Max Hearts. Nice. Yeah, I don't see Josephine in here. So maybe she's out and about? Let's see if we can run into her while um while going to the beach. Get that and um only an hour till the night market begins. Josephine, hi. I was just thinking about you. Would you like some wine? Oh, we've got some wine to sell as well. Or 20. We'll be arriving just on time, I think. Rodney. Um, Sterling. I don't think we are going to be getting any more serious. Um. All right, let's buy that painting. Yeah, sure. Don't have this one yet. Now I do. Mmm. Poppy seeds. No fairy roses or fairy rose seeds. Is it this place? It totally is, and I don't see a limit to how many of each seed there is on offer. We've got all of these teleports already, and yeah, today it is uh, spring seeds. What does it take to make fairy dust? I think we have the recipe. Fiber seeds. Diamond and fairy rose. Ten. We've got the diamonds. 
but we don't have the fairy roses. So... Hello, Sen. Love your costume. all I want to do here tonight. I'm going to check the uh, painting thing. Oh, hello. Already at full hearts with Kiwi. Not with Geo, though. Golden pumpkin, ember blood lime. Is that one of the, um... The fruit that we've got growing in our greenhouse. Let's check. Ember blood blood. It totally is. Okay then. Geo. Um, I'm just going to put stuff away first. That's really nice. I'm going to put it away too. Maybe I'll put it on like a table or something. At some point. I hope it can be put on a table. Alright. That goes there. And um. Geo. Here you go. Anybody else who we'd like to talk to here? Is there anybody over here? No? Nope. Alright then. Oh, Mateo, hi. Four. Hmm. We've still got some time before bedtime. Magnus, hi. Um, I think I'm going to do a bit of fishing. I'll just have to, um... See about the fairy roses over here. Oh, we've got tomatoes and grapes too. Day after tomorrow. Okay. So day after tomorrow we'll have four more fairy roses. Um, I think I'm not going to give a fairy rose to Sophia tomorrow after all, because we're going to need them. Did we have like three left in the flower chest and then we'll get four more the day after tomorrow that makes seven so we'll need to grow three more. We'll see about the um the seeds maybe possibly being able to buy them from the night market. That'd be fantastic. And then five of the um, fairy stones. We'll have to go to Junimo village. 
at some point. Maybe tomorrow and we'll see how many fairy stones they've got in stock. We need it to get five. So depending on how many they've got in stock, we may get all five tomorrow. Or we may have to go back there a couple of times. Uh, let's make some fish stew. And some crab cakes after. But fish stew first. I think if I do remember correctly and uh, they will sell fairy rose seeds at the night market day after tomorrow, then, then we'll be able to do this fairy rose garden quest. It'll be very nice to see what happens once we get it done? What kind of a reward we get? And uh, more importantly, if we get like an event with Sophia about it. Just a little more fish stew. There we go. Don't have all that many fish stew ingredients there anymore. But uh, we'll be able to make some more once we get more tomatoes. I think it's in four days. So... Is it like Friday? In game? A few more crab cakes and we'll be done with the cooking. I think I do want to go fishing after this for a little while before going to bed. There we go. Put the fish stew ingredients back in there. Yeah, not all that many left. And the uh, crab cake stuff in there. Not all that many crabs left either. We can sell those. And I do believe... Well, there's stuff here we can sell, but then I do believe there was more wine too. Yep. Nothing here yet. Let's just sell all of these and half of the sashimi yeah and we'll go do some fishing we've got like a a couple of in-game hours so who knows when we'll get the five limestone for the goldfish. That is such an annoying one because um, you need to rely on opening geodes for that. And it's already a bit random as to when and how many geodes you'll get. And then it's, well, actually, I know that it's somewhat 
predetermined. Like, um, the, I think the world seed predetermines, um, the contents of the geodes. But, like, um, I have no idea of, um, of how long it's going to take me, how many geodes it's going to take me to get five limestone. I know the game knows, because as I said, I do believe the world seed determines the contents of the geodes. But I don't think there's any way for me to, to check. I don't think there's any way for me to know how many geodes it's it's going to take me from this point to um to get that five limestone. So I guess we'll just have to go geode farming at some point. Omni geodes are probably the best bet, right? So we should go to Skull Cavern and and slay as many ghosts there as we can because the ghosts there drop Omni Geodes. I guess I could uh, check the wiki for which geodes can drop limestone? Is it a thing that can drop from the from the very basic geodes or is it a frozen geode thing or a magma geode thing or or what? I know omni geodes can um contain anything. So so yeah, that's that's um kind of the safest bet for when you don't know uh which kind of geode is required like um in this case i have no idea if um if limestone can be found in any kind of geode or if you need a magma geode or a frozen geode or, you know. I think I'll Google it and uh, then we'll know. And once I've Googled it, I guess it might be the most, um, most efficient to go to the pelican town mine to the appropriate level where you can get that that kind of geode uh that you can get limestone from and then try and farm those geodes there like um use the um the the spell that we've got for clearing debris at this point it does clear a pretty large area and we have a lot of mana so yeah use that spell to um to mine as as many rocks as possible on the mine levels where you can get the geode from which you can get limestone We'll see. <laughs> Something like that is probably going to be the plan to get five limestone. Foraging level up and a fishing level up. Oh, these are both great. Um, fish are more valuable or fish are easier to catch or like a 
the catching bar decreases slower. Also fish pond max capacity plus two. I think I'm going with aquarist. All right, we'll need to go and reset our fishing skill. Okay, so in the next episode, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. In the next episode, I think I'm at least going to reset my fishing skill. And, um, we'll see what we end up getting up to. Possibly, maybe we might go on a geode hunt. And then see if we can get lucky and get limestones. We also need to go to Junimo village. I think I'm going to prioritize that. Junimo village and uh, see about maybe getting us some fairy stones. And um, I do want to go to the night market as well and see about the painting and and double check that they aren't selling autumn seeds um tonight or like uh, that night we'll see what all we end up getting up to for now thank you so much for watching this video and spending a little of your time with me here today. If you like this video, please leave it a like. I would really love that. And also, please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you again next time.